Hello and welcome to Decanter's Highlights of Piedmont Tasting. I'm here in the august surroundings of the Institute of Directors in central London in Pall Mall and we've got 30 wineries exhibiting from Piedmont. We've got some big names here today. Roberto Bava, Fontana Freda, Cantina Odero. Let's go and see who we can find. I am the president of the consortium of the producers of Barolo Barbaresco the wines of Alba, Lange, and Roero, but I'm also here as a wine producer. This Barolo, we age about 80% in small barrels, 20% in large Slavonian oak barrels, in a mix of new and second year old. So after 24 months in, in, in barrels, we blended the wine and we bottled the wine. So this wine has been in bottle already for one year. Wonderful. My recommendation is discover the youth and the freshness of Piedmontese wines. So Piedmont is not only castles and Barolo, and, and I am a producer of Barolo, but it's Moscato, it's fragrancy, it's uh, Gavi, so fresh, uh, crispy wines. Moscato Dusty 2009 Vintage. Moscato is a typical traditional uh, sweet sparkling dessert wine of our region and uh, our vineyard is located in Trezzo Tinella, Cascina Fiori is the name of the vineyard. We have a small production, for us it's a very important uh, wine, um, very delicate, soft, with uh, aromatic uh, and floral notes, mineral, fresh, so not uh, heavy fruits, but more fresh, focused on the mineral taste. I came here looking for a declaration, if you like, on the part of the wines and on the part of the producers that 06 was the decade of the vintage of the decade. They have a lot of somewhat hidden fruit, a lot of tannin, a lot of acidity, and they're going to take time. The good 2006s uh, are not going to be ready, in my opinion, for four or five years, and I think they're going to last. The best ones are going to last 10, 20, 30 years. I'll be presenting shortly a masterclass on highlights from Piemonte. And the idea is to focus on the principal regions and the principal varieties of a region that is very diverse. So I'm looking principally at, at Nebbiolo, the noble grape of the region, uh, produced in Barolo and in Barbaresco, and also in a smaller region called Roero, but not forgetting other grapes such as Dolcetto and Barbera. So the idea is both to focus on the diversity of the region and also the typicity of the region. And I think it's important that this kind of seminar shows that there's, there's no hierarchy of wines as such, it's a question of different styles and different approaches that are equally valid. Tonight, what's great is after all the trade have tasted these superb wines, the consumers are going to come and they're going to discover them. And probably there aren't many opportunities to taste so many wines from the Piedmont all together. And that's what's so exciting for me, that the has been able to bring together this great selection of producers. I recently finished an advanced course in um, at the Wine and Spirit Education Trust and I'm here just to keep practicing really. Nice venue, interesting part of the world in terms of wines, lots of shades of red. I go to a lot of the counter tastings, yes. People have got an opportunity of tasting wines that sometimes you can't just buy in the supermarket. It's an opportunity to come round and actually view them, taste them and decide what you like. That's providing you can buy them in this country of course. We are uh, producing uh, new wines, uh, our new wines, uh, without uh, using the chemical products. So we are uh, looking for a new uh, style of our uh, winemaking system. It's important uh, for the consumer to look for uh, some interesting wine with character, with uh, personality. So I think uh, there is the future for our product and is the future for the wine consumption in the world. Mm -hmm.